friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. So today we are doing a full face of rare beauty. My sister has also informed me that this eye brightener has now gone viral on TikTok. So we're gonna try it out. I have a lot of favorite products here and I recently was on set with Rare Beauty and had my makeup done by the makeup artist. Picked up a couple of tips, but at the end, I love the look, but I do think that there's certain things I would change personally for myself. So I'm excited to share a full face of Rare Beauty share some mini reviews and some little makeup tips I learned from my shoot with them. First things first, I think we're gonna start with the base. The makeup artist actually used a cream bronzer all over my face and on my eyes. So I think I wanna kind of recreate that and we can go ahead and start with the eye brightener. Zoom you in. First thing that I noticed when I use this eye brightener is it's not a traditional like dough wand. It's actually like a metal situation and kind of cooling too, which Maybe that was the hope. Louis here, say hi to Louis. Okay, first impression, it blended out really nicely. You could see the difference between this eye with none and this with. Definitely a little bit brighter, but nothing I would freak out about, you know? Sometimes these TikTok kids are so crazy. You need a little bit more here. It does have a little bit of a tacky formula, which is really great. Pretty. Okay, next we're gonna go in with a little bit of tinted moisturizer. This is the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 20. I actually have the foundation as well, but the color that I have is just a little bit too deep for me, but I do really enjoy the foundation. When I had my makeup done, I told the gal I wanted a really light skin look and she made my skin look amazing and she layered so many different blushes and she actually used cream contour and bronzer before concealer, which I never do, but I've been seeing a lot of people do it on TikTok, so we're gonna try that. Yeah, I have quite a bit of redness on my skin as well, so if that's something that you struggle with, using a brush to blend out your face makeup is gonna give you a little bit more coverage. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the cream contour, and I actually really enjoy this. It is so easy to blend out and I lately have been doing my cream bronzer a little bit higher up on my cheekbones because when you blend it, it's naturally gonna come down a little bit anyways. And then the makeup artist actually put a little bit of bronzer in my crease like that. I was debating too for mine and Brandon's wedding to have my makeup done, but honestly, if you've ever had your makeup done before, I feel like I've had so many bad experiences and sometimes I feel like I know my face shape and eye shape the best and I'm so comfortable with doing makeup that maybe I could just do my own makeup, you know? Maybe, we'll see. I want a little bit more definition over here, so we'll just add a little bit more. I feel like it kind of blended out. We are also filming back in my studio today. I rearranged some of the furniture and it looks really pretty in here. I have been thinking about doing an updated studio tour. So let me know if you guys want to see that and I'll show some of the before and afters too. Okay, I feel like that's really pretty, but there's definitely some red areas that we need to conceal. So I'm gonna use this Rare Beauty concealer in the shade 250W. And I actually like all the packaging of everything too. The little knobby thing is really easy to open. Doe foot applicator is also really big and easy to use. And I'm just gonna use a little bit to brighten up my under eye area. Dark spots and then we'll clean up under the bronzer as well. I am a pretty big fan of Rare Beauty though. I feel like this is one of the celebrity brands that I actually love all the products and the packaging is really nice. It reminds me a lot of M Cosmetics, which is another brand by Michelle Phan. So far, coverage is really pretty. I like the tinted moisturizer a lot. I feel like it looks super natural on and the concealer is really pretty too, but sometimes I feel like it's a little too lightweight. So one of my secrets is just to let the concealer sit for a couple extra minutes and it becomes a little bit more full coverage, which is great for us to work with. In the meantime, I'm gonna set my eyes and finish that up. I'm gonna use this Rare Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Light Medium. I actually have this sitting in my collection and I don't really use it that much. I don't remember my thoughts on it, but. I don't actually have eyeshadows from Rare Beauty to use, so I'm just gonna use this Jason Wu Mattes palette and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of this warm tone here and we're just gonna warm up the lid a little bit. 
But I do think for my wedding, I want something a little bit more lighter on the eyes. Maybe something with a little bit of shimmer would be really pretty, but I don't wanna do anything too crazy with the eyes and I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with doing my own face makeup. So I might just end up doing my own makeup for the wedding and maybe play around with testing it for longevity, making sure it's photogenic and all that stuff. But I just wanna make sure obviously that the makeup I use is flash proof gonna look good in pictures videos if I cry it's gonna stay on so I feel like it'll be just testing a lot of like my favorite products and then maybe I can just do my own makeup but who see and then in my outer corner I'm just really gonna drag out the shadow especially because I want a little bit more of elongated effect and we're gonna do some eyeliner as well this is the rare beauty Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner, and I do really like this, but it is really pigmented. It is a felt tip, so I feel like sometimes felt tips can be kind of hard to work with. Not for me though, just kidding. I do also have a tutorial on my winged liner, if you haven't seen it. I'll link it up above. I'm also gonna pick up some of this dark brown and kind of smudge out the liner a little bit. See how much of a difference that makes? I feel like it really just finishes the liner and makes it a little bit softer, not so like harsh. And also if you're new to liquid liner too, this is a great hack just for kind of correcting any mistakes. Also, don't be scared just to leave the concealer on. This one is really easy to blend out and sometimes when I have my concealer marinate, I'll forget about it and it still is blendable. This is the Rare Beauty Black Mascara. And I actually really struggle with this. I used to not wear eyeshadow because I get mascara all over my lids. But if you hold the mirror down and look down into your mirror, it actually makes a huge difference. So pretty. Okay, next we can blend out this concealer. I'm just gonna tap it, blend it about 80% with the sponge. And now I'm just going in with a brush and just making sure the edges are really diffused. Happy with that, let's get into the fun part, the blush. I have two different colors here with me. The mini is so stinking cute, and I do have a lot of the blushes at home, but the makeup artist actually used this vibrant neon pink on me, and it just looked so beautiful on the skin, and it blended out so nicely. But the actual normal blush, same doe foot applicator, same little circular knob that's super easy to use, and I don't know, I'm a big fan of Rare Beauty if you like a good neutral makeup look. Like, I think you will be a really big fan of the products. And this cream blush is very pigmented, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just gonna blend it out with a brush. And the makeup artist too used a lot of cream products on me and she did a lot of layering which ended up making the skin look amazing. I feel like that really is such a good tip if you want something really natural looking like you're blushing from within. Layering a lot of different products is really gonna help you achieve that look. And I do think using that cream bronzer first, it's kind of faded a lot, but I'm actually not too mad about it. I think I could probably do with using less bronzer anyways. And then I'm just using like patting motions here. I don't wanna completely blend away the blush and I also don't wanna disturb any of the other layers. And then you can see I kind of drag it across my nose as well, just to kind of help warm up the blush but you can see once it's blended in it just makes my skin look so perky and cute is that the wrong word <laughs> clean up the foundation okay i'm happy with the base i'm just gonna blend out any last creasing and then we are gonna set i think this rare beauty translucent powder is a little bit too deep for my skin this is the rare beauty one and then this is my normal laura mercier i just don't think this is going to give me the brightening effect i think that's why i don't really use it so i'm just going to pick up some of the laura mercier that i always use and i've been using powder puffs to really set my under eyes lately and it just gives me a more flawless effect versus using a sponge it blurs out all of my pores and this is what the makeup artist used as well. So I did like a loose set here, but I want this to last a really long time. And one thing the makeup artist did with me is she kind of baked a little bit. So I'm gonna pick up a lot on the sponge and I'm just gonna really press down just on the inner corner there, just like that. My brows actually nano bladed and laminated. So I feel like they don't really need a whole lot. What is this? <gasps> Oh, I didn't realize that. 
this brow pencil actually has a brow gel attached to it. I don't think I ever knew that. So I'm just underlining like the under side of my brow just to get like a really straight shape. Then going in with a spoolie to kind of almost blend out the product. Brad and I also just booked a trip to New York. We are going there in March and then we are also going back to Seattle in a couple weeks to go to Whistler with some friends on a little bit of a snowboarding trip. So that'll be fun. We, uh, Brad and I are originally from Seattle and we have a lot of friends there. We only went snowboarding once when we went home for the holidays and I feel like I do not have my fix yet. So it'll be fun to go to Whistler, which is actually just like a three hour drive in Canada. And they have a big snowboarding village. So that would be really fun. Using the brow gel on the other side. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Because my brows are already pretty dark, I don't wanna to put too much of this. Okay, I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna take this brush and buff away the dusting that we had. Okay, I feel like the face looks a little bit powdery, so we're actually gonna pick up a little bit of this cream blush. Same brush as earlier, and the makeup artist was mixing a lot of different blushes on me, and I feel like applying a cream blush on top of powder really just melts everything in and makes the skin look so fresh and pretty. Then finishing off with lip liner. And I do like to overline just a little bit for a little bit more of a poutier look. And I think this actually is the same lip liner that the makeup artist used on me, but she left it pretty unblended and I feel like it gave me a look that I wasn't really going for. So I'm gonna blend it out with this lipstick. Okay, that looks really pretty. I feel like this is a good everyday look that I would recreate on myself, but we cannot finish without the highlighter. This is a new highlighter in the color Exhilarate and these are like baked highlighters so pigmented like so pretty and then i have actually the rare beauty brush as well and we'll just apply some so pigmented do not need a lot of this setting spray and i kind of cover my eyes when i spray myself because i don't want to mess up the mascara and this is the finished look. I feel like the skin looks perfect. In photos, it's gonna photograph really well. And I actually wish I had some lashes with me and just apply some in the little outer corner. I feel like it would really enhance the look and really bring it to life. And this is actually a look that really resembles my everyday makeup. Eye brightener actually was really nice. I noticed that it took me no effort at all to really brighten my dark circles, help correct that area. So I do really like that. The cream bronzer though, if you are scared of cream bronzers, the Rare Beauty one is such an easy one to use. And I love that it's just a chubby stick because it's so easy to travel with and blend out. And I'm just a really big fan of the brand. I'm back, the hair's done, and this is the finished look. I was just on my phone and I couldn't get over how good my makeup looks on camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, found the review helpful. I'll go ahead and link all the products down below. If there's any other brands you want me to do a full face of, if there's any other looks you want me to do, let me know. I did also recently do my sister's makeup and that is on her YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But if you guys want me to dive into bridal makeup looks, maybe some trials and things that I would wear on my actual wedding day. Let me know, I feel like that would be a really fun series, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thumbs up if you wanna see more like this, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.